called Side Window and an ode to Alfred Hitchcock. To get us started, could someone yell out a reason why a couple people might be stuck in their home? Fire. Thunderstorm. Fire. They're stuck in their home because of the <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know it was flammable wood. Okay? <laughs> Why would you leave it out back in the dumpster? That's ridiculous, and now our door's on fire and it's hot. No, the phone's working. Jim, this is bad. This is really bad. Marshall, we just have to hunker down. Fires burn themselves out eventually. Just <laughs> hang out, be cool. Is that what you're going to tell me? Just be cool? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to tell you. Stressing out isn't going to help anything, right? We've got a full fridge of food. I went shopping today. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, but I'm still very angry, okay? This is just... We have to get out of here. Whoa. I'm not jumping the ten floors down. Like, this is serious, okay? I'm not jumping either. That's why we wait for the fire to just burn down. Yes! <laughs> 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 You're stressed. Isn't this exciting though? This is like our honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so dull in our marriage the last five years. Yeah, wait. Good, 
<laughs> anyway, why don't you give, give the call to the old rod man? <laughs> and what are we doing at this motel? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I just, I know there's, there's something between us. If you could just put the sack on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, I've been feeling something. Exactly. Here's your, here's your. <laughs> I know you use bad when I smell it. When <laughs> 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 it's basic audio, I shouldn't have to wear something. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> all those walks in the park you've been taking. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get in shape. I'm trying to be like Becky. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You're mine. Yeah, I just. You know, I, uh, you just, you know, I, 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 I love you, and I think the family that we're going to start with is going to be fantastic. And cops are going to look to <laughs> If I'm a cop and I'm coming in, I'm like, yeah, I represent the authority, the man, <laughs> crushing the will of the working class. That's the first place I look. <laughs> Lucius, where are we going to put it? <laughs> that doesn't look like we just put a two by four there. I don't know, Tiberian, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> the first room you enter into the place. So you're making a first impression and it's suspicious. I liked it over the cereal. I liked it there too, but it was still obvious, Lucius. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Why are you still using Yahoo Mail? <laughs> I got the note about the, I tried the board in a different place, and I noticed you're, you're still using Yahoo Mail. So you trust Google? Well, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, okay, that's a point, but it's a, still Google's it's a choice. Google's still worse than the cops. <laughs> Tiberius, thank you for visiting your grandfather. Of course. Walter P. Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you visit your, your smart, rich? I don't have a, shh. I don't have much time left. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you ever talk about Yahoo? What is it behind? I mentioned that, you get all shaky. It's not important! <laughs> it's nothing, it just, just happens to be the primary email of my choice. It's nothing about my past. <laughs> <laughs> You've been writing Grandma in the cereal in your cereal flakes. Grandpa and Grandma in your cereal flakes again. Don't and you're you using know? Yahoo Mail, despite being an inferior product to Gmail. <laughs> and I'm just thinking there's something you're not telling me. Lucius! I've never told anyone this. But do you wonder why our socialist safe house is a three-story mansion? I have been wondering -story why, why, why you're house. hiding. Lucius, we need you to go undercover. What? There's a really dangerous socialist safe house <laughs> on 15th Street. But I am a capitalist. Yes. <laughs> Perfect sky. <laughs> I got a tattoo of Scrooge McDuck. You can't see it. <laughs> and he's kissing yeah. Donald Trump. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're into it. Uh, you want. Yeah, one. yeah. But like a sexy. Like, I don't want it to be like any question. Like, the capitalists are getting it on. <laughs> and like, the duck is. I know this is not going to be tough for you. So here's the pocket version of Carl Marx's book. Ew! Oh, no, you're going to like that. What? You're going undercover. Am I going to have to wear Birkenstocks? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it takes, you will. So that's it. I didn't even ask you about your weird tats, but I'm loaded. They're ironic. I mean them ironically. <laughs> but they're funny. <laughs> you were weird at first, but I saw those But I mean, someone could mean them. Like, someone could mean that. Like, it's not a reasonable... <laughs> It's not reasonable for someone to think that an anarchist world could be, in fact, capitalism, in which, you know, the government is involving itself in the market too much. That's pretty anarchistic, <laughs> if you think about it. But anyway, let's get this social <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Where's the port going to go, though? I'm just, I feel like if we hide it from the rest of the people in the co-op, they're going to start getting suspicious. Ah, well, they won't know. It's what if we put it in a mutual fund? <laughs> Tuck it away in a nice Tuck it away. Uh, market. market. Every seven years, you know, uh, yeah, but I mean, let's just 
give it to the king of the police. Yeah, the police doesn't have a king. The <laughs> king would be more Buffett. Everyone knows that he's, I mean, just theoretically. Never mind. Never mind, never said Warren Buffett. Look, we'll just tuck the money in there and it'll be cool. Does Warren Buffett know about this? No. He's pretty proficient in economic ways, but I doubt. No, it's fine. It's fine. Good. It's just you and me that know about this. Okay. Somebody finds the manifesto and the location and the bank account information for my inheritance. I think someone has been So how's your marriage? Started to cry. In your loins? No. <laughs> no. I don't mean that. I mean a literal fire. <coughs> Why are you pacing around me? It's Merlot Monday. <laughs> Thinking of a plan. That's all. Trudy, I don't want this to end up like your other husband. <laughs> I, you know how much I hate it when you do that. The other husband, who shall not be me, Seymour. <laughs> exactly. At any rate, something has to be done about this. Jim started the fire on purpose, he told me. He must go. There are, there is there are other options. You always rush to murder. <laughs> what is your deal, girly? Two more irresponsibly large blows. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, oh, I've ordered one for myself. <laughs> wow, your policy's gone downhill. <laughs> but yes, something must be done. Hey, Brandy. Yeah, I'll tell you, sweet. Yeah. But it was actually Steve Marino, that's, that was me, but... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's whatever, I just need to be, be quiet about it. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, Steve Marino does not kiss and tell. Because <laughs> you're a gentleman. All right? Clearly. Look, look at I, don't, I don't know if you saw the next August. You going to be cynical? Of course. <laughs> I knew that. Why are you making so surprised? I, I, I mean, I... I made a deal, so it's all good. You made a deal? Yeah. Who'd you make a deal with? Uh, what's that guy's name? <laughs> you mean my husband? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said that if I get you pregnant, I could pick any month I wanted. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, let me get this straight. I get to sleep with your wife and pick up any month I want? And he was like, yeah. And that was the end of the conversation. <laughs>
Well, you must know people, <laughs> right? I know lots of clients, but I would never. Yeah, but the clients, you see some messed up people. So I want to. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe. Yeah, Dr. Richardson, I'm real messed up. I need to kill somebody. <laughs> So like, I don't think that, which one of the two is my mom? Because I don't think my mom looks like either Trump or the duck. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't learn this in school, but when a Trump and a duck love each other very much. <laughs> uh, is that what they teach in public schools? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, one thing leads to another and then you get it really is a separate system of education. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I know there's patient-doctor confidentiality. Yeah. I know you know someone. You need to help me. Okay. I have a standing appointment with this weirdo on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accidentally show up at the That's, appointment. I was thinking that. You're so smart. Yes. And I know nothing about it. No, no, of course not. Okay. Tuesday morning, I'm here, what do you need? <laughs>
there's a, uh, oh, oh sorry, this is the, the pregnancy strip. <laughs>
shot. We've come a long way from tea. You know, you start out with this. And uh, something about today just feels like the beginning. Or is it? You know, it's the beginning. I mean, I have life here. Or that. <laughs> okay. I know you killed your husband before. Are you trying to kill me? Shit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 